I think the flower is not a luxury, it's the food for the soul. And if you kill the soul for one human being, that the body dies itself, so it's not a luxury. Good morning, good morning. Konstrum, you take the hormone for the roots, and then we continue with the work. Let's work all of us together. Where I was working, I, was, I asked them, can I start a business just like you? And then they told me, I had inherited this from my parents, and to do this, you need to have a lot of work and a lot of support. Although you're a great worker, you're still going to be a foreigner. The ambience, the culture, the work, all of them are very hardly to adapt. Those words were my motivation that I decided right there that I will be returning. As you can see, this is a shovel that I had bought on 1st of September 1999 in Switzerland. And ever since I got here, I started working with this shovel and had a warranty for five years. I started to work on my business with this shovel. And when five days, after five years, I put it here so that my children can see what did I start with. And every time I go inside and I see this, it reminds me of where I get this shovel. Then I went and bought 25 kilos of seeds, a bicycle, that shovel, and I came back and started my business here. One year we had lived here under a plastic bag, 32 square meters. We ate there, we slept there, and after one year then we started. That's why I know that this is not just a closed ambience, this is like a, like a, like a house. It's unimaginable if, if you're dealing with it. Every, any post you can give to me, you can offer to me for, for in, in the government or what, wherever, I will not take it because I like the, the green, I like the plants because I know how they breathe, how they live and how, they, how to protect them. Especially in the sector of agriculture, there is a big demand for the workers. But the workers that know the work and want to work, there is no special center for training to, to train them to know the work and to love the work. I think that here people deal more with theoretical work than with practical work. The difficulties are every business you start, it's, it's difficult, you need investment, but when, when the person wants it and, and, and he insists, then the results, the results are there. When I started I had nothing, these two hands and a piece of land, but I'm not afraid of work. With, with, with some investment from my side, I can invest in my future for me and my family. In the agro-business, all the investment that were done before the war, they were all in ruins. But this is a sector that the government and the village and, and the cities should know that there is a lot of space for, it, for people to invest in it, especially for the young. My Swiss experience is that the work is not a game. You should take it seriously. You have to, to work until perfection and to love it. And when you love the work, you will learn it. And you'll learn it even from the others. I had always loved work. I was never afraid of working. That's why I had a, a courage to start this. When I started, I had nothing. Let's understand each other, nothing. But it was a desire and the motivation for success and the objectives where I wanted to get. Maybe I did not get to, all to the end of it, but at least I saw that I had brought to life something that you can see. Of course there is perspective, especially in agribusiness, is very big perspective because there are big demands for, for, for food. There's a simple definition, work is not a game, you have to, to complete it until perfection. 
in Switzerland also, they never leave anything in half. They, they complete everything until perfection. But the biggest challenge is for me were the investments. No matter how, how, how much ideas you got, if you don't have an investment to push it, to push all your ideas, then it's nothing. But still, the human factor, when, when, when you're decisive and you have the desire to achieve something, you can always do it. As a refugee, when I returned from Switzerland, I had the basis of some money to, to, to invest uh, that I got as a refugee to come back. That was the money that I put that I put in to, to make everything. And then I continued. My gardens used to produce year after year and, and after 10 years, a bit of investment there. And also there is also like friends and, and people that I know that when they see that you're trying to do something, struggling to do something, they also help. These are some kind of cactus, which I want to reproduce for, for the future, for the spring especially, to have as a bigger collection as possible. These are some different designs in, 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 uh, in old cups. These are, these are flowers, and this is a working table that was implemented through the Swiss Cooperation Project. It was a very big help for me because it's easier to work and easy to keep the temperature and easy to keep the water regime in it. This is also some kind of carpet that it keeps keeps the the water there and it keeps the temperature for for the roots of the of the flowers. These are some flowers that we plant now and we make them, we, they will be ready for, for March, for 7 and 8th of March, where is the, the day for people will give flowers to their wives. <laughs>